We've had a heck of a week in the world of sports. <laughs> there's, uh, there's been a lot of twists and turns. And I hope I'm reading the right version of this speech right now. A heck of a week indeed. And instead of talking about what he tried to do to keep the Chargers in his State of the City address, 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina shows us how Mayor Kevin Faulkner says he's optimistic the city can still keep the team. The mayor said that the uh, Chargers have prospered here at Qualcomm for years because of generations of loyal fans, and he thinks that should count for something. <laughs> mayor Kevin Faulkner unveiled for a packed Balboa Theater his blueprint for a better future for San Diego. We are creating a world-class city for all, and it starts with our neighborhoods. <laughs> standing ovation inside, but several dozen demonstrators out front, Thank you. protesting a myriad of injustices, including poverty and police violence. I'm out here today because when you touch one indigenous and oppressed person, you touch all of us. The mayor spoke of park improvements, opportunities for youth, pension reform, and keeping the chargers in San Diego. The passion, the heart, the energy that has powered the boats for 55 years, you can't get that in L.A. You can't get that in Inglewood. You can only get that in San Diego. You know what I loved? He talked about the uniqueness of our city and then wove it all together that we're one San Diego, but focused on small things, filling potholes, to very, very large things like getting our convention center expansion built. And Comic-Con loves that. Everybody knows we have problems with lack of space. It was exciting to hear the mayor seem to uh, be behind a contiguous space of the convention center. We always think it'll be great not only for Comic-Con, but for other companies and for companies who want to come to San Diego. Among other things, he is planning to uh, shift his strategy in combating homelessness, especially among our veterans. Live at Qualcomm Stadium, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.